I want to talk about my Canada relocation story. It is a very emotional story, filled with pain, filled with tears, filled with frustration, but at last, filled with victory. I want you to encourage you, if you're at that point where you're thinking of relocating to Canada, but all you can see is frustration, discouragement all over the place, whether it's financial discouragement, refusals, or no support from family, confusion, not know, even knowing what to do. Let the story encourage you today. So when I started my Canada journey in 2016, I also didn't know where to start or what to do. I was asking questions. I was told to start with the express entry, which is what I did. So I created a profile and I was in that express entry for a year until my profile expired. Nobody sent me an invitation to apply. But while I was in the profile, I was trying to get a job because I knew that getting a job would give me more points and more opportunities to be invited to apply for permanent residence. It was in the process of looking for a job that I saw someone who posted a scam job. At the time, I didn't know it was a scam job, but you know those jobs that offer free accommodation, free flights, and all of those good things. I jumped on it. I paid the guy some money, and after paying certain sum of money, I realized it was a scam. My money had gone down the drain. I didn't have a job. I didn't have the invitation to apply for permanent residence, and I was back to square one. That was when I decided to try studying in Canada. So I went through the process of looking for a school, applying to the school, paying application fees, getting admission, and applying for visa. And guess what? After two months of application, I got the news from RSCC that there was a decision on my, uh, on my application. And when I checked, it was a refusal. So painful because I thought that I had done the best that I could do. After that time, we decided to try Australia because Australia was another good country. And then we put in an application for permanent residence for Australia, spent a lot of money um, to do the application, to do their own English exam, which is the PTE, not even the IELTS. And we did the express, which means we, we also had to pay extra money. And after what, two, three months, it came back with a refusal. <laughs> I, can't, I can't even tell you how much I cried that day. I cried until my eyes were almost coming out. We decided to appeal. And that appeal involved paying another sum of money, almost as much as we had paid the first time. And I appealed and I made my argument as to why I should not have been refused. And after about a couple of months, he came back with what? A refusal. <laughs> and by the time, my spirit was so low. I was so discouraged. I felt that the whole world was against me. Why was everybody refusing me? Why wasn't it working? Was this not God's will for me? I didn't know what to do. So for a few months, we didn't do nothing because we had spent a lot of money. We were discouraged. Nothing was working. We didn't know what to do. And then we decided to go to the U.S. A lot of people were getting U.S. visas at the time, and we had friends and family in the U.S. So we decided, we decided to try the U.S. We got the invitation letters. We were excited that maybe this time it will work because we had everything that they were asking for. We went to the interview with great hopes. You know how it is when you go for a U.S. interview, behaved ourselves, stood in the line. And when they were asking, we had everything, travel history, we had the money, we had invitation, everything. And at the end of the day, the lady looked at us and said, I'm sorry, but we are not, you have not been granted visa. I mean, at that day, it like everything in me drained away, all the hope that I had all the encouragement, all the belief, everything drained out of me that day. I walked like a zombie for like the a week or two after that. I couldn't believe it. I didn't have the strength to continue. I gave up and I was like, you know what? We'll just stay in, in Nigeria because it doesn't seem to be working. But I think God had other plans for me because somehow a friend that I had not seen for so many years and uh, who I knew back in the UK contacted me. And guess what? Guess what? She was in Canada. And she was like, Shay, you need to come to Canada. And I said, I don't tire. I don't try. I couldn't get it. And she was like, what are you talking about? Of course you can get it. You're brilliant. You have a master's. You did this. You did that. So she encouraged me and told me to try the study route again. Now, I'd already tried it before. So I didn't have the courage. I felt that I didn't know it. But then I realized that there must be something I don't know. Because people who I feel that I, I am more brilliant than were actually actually getting their study visas approved. And that is when I went on my journey of rediscovery, what I call rediscovery, research. I paid a lot of immigration consultants to ask questions. I interviewed a lot of people. I made a lot of research. And then I realized why I was refused the first time, even though I thought that I had a great application. 
this time around i was going for a funded um, master's program i wanted funding because i knew how to get it guess what i did get funding for the entire of my tuition and living expenses meaning i didn't have to pay one dollar to the school or to the canada government for my studies in canada and then i moved to my visa application i started preparing it and i was ready as well by the time i finished preparing my application as well as my statement of purpose i knew that there was nothing that they were going to use to deny me because i'd spent weeks months on my sop preparing this application thinking about it going over it in my head going through it with the eyes of a visa officer and guess what two months after that guess what happened i was approved this time it wasn't a refusal it was an approval I mean, I looked at the approval email and I didn't say anything. Tears were just falling from my eyes because I was like, this is something that I wanted to see for months and it had been evading me. Yeah, but here it was. And I understand when people reach out to me and they're like, I was refused twice, I refused thrice. I mean, people are discouraged because they've been refused. But guess what? You can still be approved even after you've been refused. Don't forget, I said I was refused Australia, the USA and Canada before I got approval. And I, I got approval to do a master's, even with a previous master's. I didn't hide it. I put that I had a previous master's and I explained why I was going for another master's. So if you listen to this and you're in any of those categories of maybe you were discouraged, you don't even know where to start, you feel you don't have money or you've been refused before and you're like, is this going to happen? Or you feel you're too old. I felt so as well. But despite my age and everything, I was able to come to Canada. Today, after studying, I am a permanent resident. Not just me, my entire family are permanent residents. And this is something that can be yours too. And this is the reason why I created my system for those who want to come to Canada to become Canada permanent residents using the study route. This system is called the Canada Jackpot System. And I've explained it if you go to the link in my bio. It is going to take you by the hand and show you step by step how not only can you get admissions in Canada, you can get funding, you can get scholarship, you can even get a loan. It shows you how you can prepare your visa application. This is where a lot of people miss it. But we show you how to prepare your visa application, how to write your statement of purpose, how to write your letter of explanation, how to come to Canada with your family because Canada allows you to come study with your family and you can work 20 hours a week as a student. So why would you not want to try it? Even if you're discouraged, you don't know where to start, you've been refused before, just drop all of that. Put it in the past. Shea is here and I'm here to show you. If you want to know more and this Canada is your dream, you want to come here and study. Study is one of the easiest routes to come to Canada to become a permanent resident. Please, I beg you, leave this video now. Go to the link in my bio, click on it. Go through it. There is um, a link that will show you how you can relocate to Canada using the study route. Please click it. Listen to the video. Read what is there and take the next step. Get yourself the system. You are, this is not the time for you to be stingy. This is not the time for you to be asking, is this scam? This is not the time for you to be asking, will it work? It works. And there are testimonials there of so many people that it has worked for. So if Canada is your dream, let my story encourage you. My story has encouraged so many people. So many people are here in Canada by reason of my system. So please click the link in my bio and start your Canada journey today. I'm waiting to see you on the inside and I wish you all the best. Go ahead, click.